I'm Eric Bragg. I was diagnosed in 1984. I'm from West Virginia and I'm a skier. My diagnosis started at age four. I exhibited pretty much all of the classic symptoms, uh, pretty much everything that you ever hear about type one. Uh, my mom being an RN, <laughs> she uh, started you know, watching me and realized something wasn't right and brought home some ketone sticks. Uh, tested my urine for ketones. Uh, this is before uh, glucometers were commonplace like they are today. And sure enough, it came back positive for ketones and glucose. And ever since then, I've been living with diabetes. That's been 29 years ago. I first heard about riding on insulin. I was just doing a random Google search, looking for other type ones that were into the same stuff I was into, you know, outdoors activities. Um, I ran across a webpage, just read up on it, and I was like, that is about the most awesome thing I've ever heard of. Uh, I found out they were having a camp at Camelback, PA, so I emailed Molly, uh, told her I was really interested. She signed me up. I volunteered at the camp, had a great time. I expressed I wanted to be more involved, and you know, I was invited to the elite coaching camp here at Mount Hood. I've learned over the years that type 1 diabetes doesn't have to slow you down. If you put your mind to it, you can pretty much accomplish anything you want to do. If you want to look at uh, proof that type 1 diabetes doesn't slow you down, look at the elite riding coaching team. Uh, you know, every one of us has diabetes, and we all live very active lifestyles. I really started skiing about 10 years ago uh, when I, I found that when I'm on the mountain, it, it takes your mind off of the everyday monotony that diabetes presents. When you're up there, you're not really thinking about diabetes as much, you're just thinking about making one good run. And when you do, that makes it well worth it.